Hey, and welcome back. My name is Shari. In today's class, we are going to be targeting core areas to help us relieve low back pain. I know we all need that. So we're going to start super easy. Make your way onto your back. Lay on down. Feel the entire length of the low back press into the mat. And then we're going to hug the knees into the chest. So bring both knees up, wrap your arms around those knees, and let's just start by gently rocking side to side. If it feels good to close your eyes, go ahead and let those eyelids fall shut. And as we gently rock from side to side, feeling that low back melt down onto the mat, let's start to check in to our breath. Let's take an inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> a couple more, just like that. Big inhale. Big exhale. <sighs> Amazing, keep that breath moving. Start to feel your body soften and your mind slow down as you start to check in with the present moment. And we begin to strengthen those bonds between the breath and the body, our mind and our spirit. We'll make our way into an easy twist, release the hands away. You can take them nice and wide to start and just allow both knees to fall over to one side. Relax your shoulders down, maybe turn your palm face up. You can have one hand resting on your knees or you can open that arm out wide as well. See if you can focus on lengthening your top hip bone away from your chin and allowing your body to melt down into the mat. Find your breath. Let your belly muscles soften. few more big breaths here. Beautiful. Using the strength of your core muscles, you can press your hands into the mat. Start to bring both knees up to center and then exhaling, let both knees fall over to the opposite side. And you can turn your palms up to face the sky and melt your shoulders down to the ground. You want the entire upper back to be on the earth here. And your gaze can be up to the sky, but if this twist is feeling easy for you, you can always turn your head the opposite direction of your knees for a little bit of a deeper feeling, deeper sensation. No matter where you are, relax your jaw and your tongue, your eyes, and the space between your eyebrows. Beautiful. On your next inhale, let's bring those knees back up to center and go ahead, wrap your arms around and give them one more big squeeze here. 
Let's hang on to the right knee and relax the left foot down to the ground. Hands are gonna come behind the right thigh and we're gonna start to extend that right foot up to the ceiling. And you can keep a slight bend in your knee here, protect your kneecap, and then let's just start to point and flex through our toes and roll the ankle a couple times, both directions. And then once we've got all those cracks and pops out, flex your ankle deeply and then press your heel up towards the ceiling. Again, keeping that soft bend in the knee. And then you can deepen here by pulling your hamstring towards your body. For some of you, it might feel good to extend your left leg long out onto the mat, or you can just keep that foot flat on the earth with the knee bent up to you. Coming into a deep hamstring stretch here, maybe you find that your leg starts to shake and fight just a little bit. See if you can soften the rest of your body. Tuck your chin, lengthen the back of your neck, relax your shoulders. All of the work is happening right now in the hamstring. Deep breaths. If you need a little bit more, you can start to walk your hands up towards that ankle, maybe grabbing a hold of the big toe or the foot and bringing head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat if that is an option that's gonna work for your body today. Two more big breaths. On an exhale, go ahead, release. Hug that knee into the chest. Beautiful. We're going to come into half happy baby. So you're going to want to reach up and grab a hold of whatever you can grab a hold of. Maybe the outer edge of the foot. Maybe the big toe. Maybe none of that's available and you're just grabbing a hold of the back of the thigh. And then you're going to open that right knee out to the right and you're going to start to pull the knee down towards the floor. Perfect. Your other hand, see if you can find your hip bone and notice if you're rolling up and out of this pose, I want you to just coax that hip bone down towards the ground so that the low back stays flat on the mat. And we're just stretching into the groin here. Couple of breaths. Exhale, release, bring that knee back to center. Give it one more big squeeze to help release our hip flexor, and then we'll switch. Right foot comes to the mat, bring that left knee towards your body, hands behind the thigh, interlace those fingers. Start to extend that left foot up towards the ceiling, and then rolling the ankle, pointing and flexing through those toes and heel. And then when you feel ready, flex firmly through the ankle, press up through the heel, soft bend in the knee. Maybe you draw the leg towards your body. Maybe you extend the right leg long out onto the mat. Tuck your chin, relax your shoulders and your face. Breathe, my friends, breathe. If you feel like your body needs more, you can start to walk your hands up towards that foot or ankle. Couple more breaths. On an exhale, release, hug the knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. Start to drop that left knee out towards your left armpit and then grabbing a hold of maybe the thigh, maybe the outer edge of that foot and bring your elbow inside your knee and then start to draw that leg down towards the ground. Right hand is on my right hip bone to make sure I'm staying level through my pelvis. Half happy baby, couple of breaths.
Exhaling, release the knee back to center. Give yourself one more big squeeze through that knee. Release that hip flexor. Press, 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 press. And release, beautiful. Soles of the feet on the mat. You can bring your hands to your waist here. We're just gonna windshield wiper our knees from side to side a couple times. Once again, helping release that low back. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead, turn over to one side and just gently press yourself up. All right, we're gonna make our way into tabletop hands and knees just for a moment. And then you're gonna step your left foot through your hands and we're gonna come into a low lunge. Knee over ankle, toes pointing straight, roll the shoulders down your back. And let's just find a couple of breaths here, stretching through that right hip flexor. Tight and weak hip flexors, one of the big main reasons for tight and sore low backs. All right, keeping that front knee bent, start to walk your hands back and then pressing up onto that knee so that we're upright here, beautiful. Reset once again so that we've got knee and ankle stacked. And then you're gonna kick your right foot behind your right knee just like that, beautiful. Bringing your right elbow or forearm onto left elbow or forearm onto your left knee. Start to sink your hips down, down, down. Ooh, beautiful. Keep the heart lifted, shoulders relaxed. Couple of breaths here. You might need to walk your left foot in just a little bit so that's lined up with your knee. And let's start to come on up. We're gonna straighten this left leg and we're gonna kick our toes towards the front of the mat. Perfect. Right hand is gonna come alongside that right knee, but we wanna stack the right hand underneath that right shoulder. And then from here, we're gonna bring that left arm up and overhead. Nice, long stretch. If it feels okay, maybe you start to stack your shoulders and float your left foot up off of that. We're gonna be strengthening the core here, strengthening the glutes. By strengthening the core and the glutes, we're taking that pressure off the low back making sure that we're not in too much pain as we continue to move throughout our life. Few more breaths here. Really stomp through that left foot. Beautiful, one more big inhale. Exhale, release the foot down towards the mat. Press off of that bottom hand, come on up. Left hand to the left thigh. Inhale, right hand up and overhead, big, long side body stretch. Inhaling up and out, beautiful. We're gonna make our way onto the other side, just bringing that left foot in. You can come to your tabletop for just a moment and we're gonna step that right foot towards the front of the mat. Knee over ankle stacked, gazing forward, lift the heart. Couple of breaths. All right, on your next inhale, bringing those hands up. Let's lift the upper body. Maybe you walk that right foot in just a little bit. And then we're gonna kick this left foot behind the left knee, bringing our right elbow onto our right thigh. Start to press and sink your hips towards the front of the mat. Nice inner groin stretch here, a couple of breaths. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, let's bring this left hand to the mat. We're gonna straighten through that right leg. 
plant the left hand underneath your shoulder and then inhale your right arm up bicep comes over the ear find a long line from your fingertips all the way down through those right toes think about rolling your right chest up towards the ceiling rolling that right shoulder back and if you're feeling called to fire it up a little bit, inhale the right arm right overhead so your shoulders are stacked and then float that right foot up off the ground. Flex the ankle, stomp through that right foot. Beautiful, couple breaths here. Feeling that booty cheek muscle burn. One more big inhale, you got this. Exhale, release the foot down, press off of your bottom hand, right hand to the outer right thigh. Inhale your left arm up and over as you slide your right hand down the shin, coming into gate pose. Again, left chest is rolling up to the sky, keeping ourselves lifted and elevated. Inhale, come on up, exhale, releasing. Beautiful, make your way back through your tabletop, hands and knees, as we come into our downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide, all those fingertips pointing forward. Let's curl the toes under, and then you're gonna lift your hips and booty up. Maybe you walk your feet in just a couple of centimeters. Slide your shoulders away from your ears, pull up on your low belly, and then press your hips up to the sky. Maybe you have to bend your knees a little or a lot in eight in order to get that big lift through the hips. And then you can start to press your heels down towards the earth. Couple of big breaths here. Downward facing dog provides traction for the spine. As long as we're really thinking about lifting through the tailbone, relaxing the shoulders. It's creating lots of beautiful space. Drop your weight into your left foot, inhale your right foot up. And maybe you bend into that right knee, open up that right knee. Find a good stretch here. Exhale, switch right foot to the earth. Inhale, left leg up, bend that left knee and drop that heel over the body. Exhale to release, beautiful. Both knees come to the earth. Walk those fingertips forward as you melt your heart down. Order to the mat, child's pose. Maybe you bring your hands alongside your feet and then let your shoulders roll down towards your ears. Bring your fingertips forward one more time and then start to walk your hands back towards your body. Keep your eyes closed and let your head be the last thing to rise as you sit up on your heels. Take a breath here. Well, that felt nice. Let's do that again. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. All right, let's blink those eyes open. One more big pose here. You're gonna to come to stand up on your knees. Now, if you've got tender knees, I highly suggest that you bring your mat, like you can double it in so that you're kneeling on double rubber. You could do a little blanket underneath your knees. So take a second, get yourself set up. And then we're gonna start by curling toes under and bringing the heels higher. Yep, we're making our way in a camel pose, baby. All right, knees or hips width apart here. Make sure we're stacking hip points and shoulders directly up over those knees. Let's bring our thumbs into our low back here. Hug your shoulders back, hug your elbows together, and then softly press your hips forward as you inhale and lift your heart. Beautiful. Maybe we stay here. Maybe this is the spot for you. But maybe you can add on. 
dropping one hand back towards the heel. Keep lifting the heart, pressing the hips forward, and then maybe dropping the other hand and catching a hold of that heel. Lifting your gaze, beautiful. For some of you, you might have the room where you bring the tops of your feet to the mat or your camel pose. Breathe into your chest, not your belly. Two more. We come out the same way we came in. One hand to the low back and then the other. Inhale, lift your heart. Nice, nice, nice. Exhale, child's pose. This time let's take the knees super duper wide. Walk your fingertips forward, melt your heart down. And you can turn your head to one side if that feels good. And let your low back soften and melt down towards your belly. If you need to sway your hips side to side, feel free. If you have your head turned to one side, let's go ahead and turn it to the other so we're nice and even. And then gazing forward, start to walk your hands back. And then let's just sit off to one side, cross those legs. Stack your spine so we're sitting up nice and tall. Keep your eyes closed here. And let's just take a couple of breaths, inhaling through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Two more. Please bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Thank yourself for your practice today. And I hope your back starts to feel way better. Namaste. I'll see you next time. Bye.